What's happening, guys? Thank you for tuning in to the Kevin Carhee Show. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the show. All right, guys, let's get this thing kicked off. Shout out to the free crowd, man. Crowd that's free from heartache, heartbreak, heart manipulation. Thank God you made it out of that foolishness, man. And you no longer have no woman in control of your emotions. Guys, emotional abuse from women. How do you get in a space where you take an emotional e abuse from a woman? Most of the time, guys, you start off on the wrong foot. You start off on the wrong foot uh, and the woman sees you as a weaker vessel. That's why it's not good to listen to simp boys. Start listening to simp boys, they're going to get you out on, off on the wrong foot with a woman. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be in a submissive position. And, and, and guys, it's your mindset. You have to have the mindset of that it's four billion other women on the earth. Women are like a buffet. You can't get yourself caught up on just one woman thinking that this is the end all be all. This is the God. You put her up on a pedestal. Guys, when you start pedestalizing women, that's when that's the first step in her becoming an emotional abuser. That's the first step. Because women emotional uh, emotions are so wishy-washy. One day they up, one day they down. If you put her in a position of power that she have emotional power over you guys, she finna play it. She gonna, she gonna abuse her power. She gonna abuse her power. See, a woman wanna be in control of her emotions, but she wanna fall in love, which puts her out of control of her emotions. Now, you see how contradict... You see the contradiction between the two. You want to be in control, but out of control. Only way you're going to fall in love is you got to be out of control of your emotions. You can't control your emotions and be in love at the same time. You cannot control your emotions and be in love at the same time. It just doesn't work, guys. They want to know that you falling in love with them. Once you and, and, and once you fall in love, guys, that's why a woman is always uh, trying to get you to express how you feel about them. Get you to dive deep into your emotions, what you thinking. And then she's going to watch your actions. That's when the shit test start popping up. She's going to test you to see if you're going to react. She's going to test you to see if you're going to do. She's going to test you to find out if you Johnny on the spot. Once you start doing that, uh, uh, guys, she start to measure her power. Oh, well, I got this much. I can do this. I can do that. He'll do this. He'll do that. Then you're in trouble. Next thing you know, the disrespect starts. A little bit at a time, the disrespect starts. And, as it, and, and once the disrespect starts, and then she see that, oh, he ain't going to do nothing. Oh, he going to let that ride. Oh, I can do this. It's going to start growing, guys. And the more the disrespects uh, uh, grow, the more she's going to fall out of love with you. And the more she's going to start becoming abusive. The more she's going to start saying things. Guys, a woman will... A woman will... Uh, she'll start calling out your flaws to see what you're going to do. To see how you're going to react. See what your self-esteem is. Women test you at all angles. At all angles. In every direction. And if you're not willing, guys, to do something about it, to cut it off at the path, then the only thing you're going to do is get ready for abuse. Get ready because she's going to abuse you. And the next thing is that the cheating starts. And listening to them simp boys, those guys would say, man, them, them dudes say things like, man, uh, especially if a woman go out and have a baby uh, uh, on your time and come to find out uh, the child not yours. Them guys will sit there and go, well, it was only one thing. You got to work through marriages. You, it it takes a lot of strength. You, you know, you got to pray. Uh, you can't just up and leave because that one thing happened. Guys. Uh-uh. Once a woman cheat on you, it's over. Especially if she have a child, it's over. 
I mean, I, I tell you what, man, I be seeing these these cases where the, the people, the uh, the couple will sit there and maybe they broke up or whatever, and they getting a DNA test done and come to find out the baby belongs to the guy that she's with. And they start jumping for joy. Oh, man, I'm, I, I was so scared it wasn't going to be mine. I was so scared. Oh, man. You talking about what a sucker. What, man? That is so weak. What the hell? And it's like, baby, we're going to go out to eat tonight. We're going to celebrate that the baby's yours. I went out and cheated on you. I went out and had a meat fest. And now I'm back. And I was, oh, my God, I love you so much. Oh, man, I'm telling you guys. I ain't never seen nothing as pathetic. It's pathetic is to see a guy celebrating a woman that didn't cheated on him and 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 he's gonna find out the child is his. Gonna find out the child is mine. I guess I guarantee you what. I don't think I'm gonna be I don't think I'm gonna be looking at a child support. God, that's what's gonna end up happening. I'm gonna have to pay child support. Because I ain't finna sit up here now time and no woman cheat on me. And guys, once a woman cheat on you, that's it. Because that's the lowest thing that a woman can do to a man is give her body to another man. Once a woman give her body to another man, that's nothing more, that, that's nothing deeper she can do to hurt you. And once she find out that you're not going to do anything, that you're not going to leave her, that you're going to accept that she giving her body to a guy, she's going to disrespect you until the world look level. She's going to she's gonna disrespect you until there's no end. Everybody going to laugh at you. Everybody going to call you weak. You're going to start looking at yourself as a weak vessel. And you and as years go on, you're going to start to regret it more and more. I ain't never had a guy that come back and say, after he's been cheated on by a woman, say he felt good about himself. Majority of the time, guys, they come when they're in their 60s, 70s, they always come back and say, hey, I should have left her a long time ago. I should have never put up with that. I should have left for a long time ago because it simply does not work. And the more guys, she, the more disrespect she do, the more she's going to abuse you. She's going to do everything. Once she cheat on you, you, you can give it up. She's, the abuse is really going to come. She's going to make you feel lower than, than, than an earthworm, guys. Lower than an earthworm. And ain't nothing you can do about it. She know you'll kick screen, but you ain't going nowhere. Because men, first of all, men fall in love too deep. That's why I tell y'all, stop with this falling in love stuff, man. Stop with the falling in love. Don't even look at her like that's the end all be all. You look at her just like a woman in your life at the moment, and at any time she could be gone. At any time I could get rid of you. Once you keep that mentality, guys, you always have emotional control over yourself. And when she start acting up, you looking to replace her right then and there. Rat then and there. I ain't know. I, I ain't know all oh, we can work now. Oh, you finna replace you rat then and there. I already got the next one up on deck. Rat nine. And that's how you gotta deal with it, guys. Lest they gonna emotional, emotionally abuse you every time. Shout out to the free crowd, guys. I want y'all to like it, man. Uh, do that for your boy. And look here. Remember what I tell you, guys. When you're dealing with these relationships. Always stay ready.